Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to uh, solve a question on uh, superposition of waves and phase difference. How to find the velocity also of a wave. Now, before, uh, before we solve the question, and this question you had in your final exam uh, this year, it's just to guys a little bit what do i mean by phase and phase difference now here we can compare a wave with circular motion if you look at the red dot so this is the uh, an object that is oscillated uh, up and down or back and forth here, this one, it's pi over 2, which correspond to this. The object move from here to here on the circular motion. So it's 90 degree, this one 90 degree, quarter a circle. Here, it's half a circle, half a circle pi, 180 degree. 3 pi over 2, this is a 3 quarter of a circle, and here, 2 pi. 2 pi, it means we have full cycle. Now the object is oscillating up. At this point, the object is oscillating down. At this point, the object is oscillating up. When the object is doing the same thing, it means it's in phase, okay? The distance between two points that are in phase, two consecutive points, we call it lambda. And this one is complete cycle, one period. So here, this is a quarter lambda. At this point, it's half lambda. Here, three quarter of lambda, and here it's full lambda. Now, if I have two waves, okay, here we have the red wave and the blue wave. Which one is the leader and which one is the lagger? Which one happened first? The first wave, which is the red one, because it's a crest, comes first. So this is the leader. This one is the leader. And this one is the lagger. So there is phase difference between them. There is time difference. There is length between them. The difference in time, okay, we we call it phase difference. So we can thought of it as the lag in time between two waves, and we can measure it in radian. We can measure it in 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 a wavelength as a, as a fraction of a wavelength. Now, how can we measure the phase difference? We're going to use this formula. Delta phi or change in phase. This one is a change in phase or phase difference divided by 2 pi, the full cycle, equals change in time divided by the total time or the period. Or we can use it in terms of lambda. Delta phi phase change divided by 2 pi equals lambda delta d. The distance between them, D, or phase shift between them, okay, divided by lambda. Now let's go back to the IB question. Here we have a longitudinal wave it travels in a medium with a speed. So this is the speed of, a wave, of the wave. This is V, 340 degree. The graph shows the variation with time. So here I have displacement in micrometer versus time. Always be careful to the unit. Millisecond, time in millisecond. Positive displacement on the graph correspond to the displacement to the right for particle P. Now the question is calculate the wave length of the wave. You can use the formula velocity 
equals distance over time. Distance is lambda divided by the period. We have the velocity. We can find the period from the graph. OK, here, because here I have displacement versus time. Period distance between two points that doing the same thing or they are in phase. So if I take a crest with a crest, this is one, one cycle. This distance is four millisecond. So lambda, so the period, it's four millisecond. So lambda will be velocity times T. This is lambda. And this will equal velocity is 340 meter per second. Always make, make sure the units are consistent. Here we are using SI units, so meter per second for velocity and times is 4 milli, which means 10 to the power negative 3 second. And you should get 1.36 unit for lambda is meter. Meter per second and here second. Meter per second and here second. So the final unit is meter. Rounded to two significant figure is 1.4 meter. Okay, next. Now another wave, it travels in the medium. The graph shows the variation with time T of the displacement of each wave at position P. So we have two waves. Which one happened first? The first crest is this one. So this one is the leader. This wave is the leader and the other one is the lagger. There is a phase difference between them. How can I find the phase difference? Remember formula pi divided by tau, two pi equals change in time divided by the period. Or, or if we go back here, we said, I forgot to tell you something as well. Now, in phase, it means they're doing the same thing. We have a crest and crest. That means they are in phase. Here I have a crest, a crest, trough and trough, same. Out of phase, they are completely either completely doing different thing, like here they're out of phase by, 100, by 180 degree or anti-phase, or one of them is lagging. One is was one is leader and the other one is lagging. So this is out of phase. Out of phase by how much? This one it moves here by pi over two by quarter lambda. Quarter lambda it's pi over two. So the phase difference is quarter a cycle or lambda over four or uh, ninety degree. Crest and trough like this one completely out of phase. Out of phase by how much? by half a cycle, half lambda. Half lambda, this one moves from here till here. This is quarter, lam quarter lambda, and this is a quarter lambda, so it's half a cycle or half lambda, half lambda, or 180 degree. So I can do it fast without using even this formula. I'll show you with the formula, and I can, shoot you. I can do it also um, just looking by looking at the graph. So this crest move here. It moves how much it moves quarter lambda. The distance from here till here quarter lambda quarter lambda means pi over two. So phase difference is pi over two. This is the phase difference positive or negative pi over two, uh, three pi over two, etc. Or I can use the formula. Or I can use this formula. OK, so let's use this formula. I need it. I need the period. OK, now this point is more isolating up and this point is oscillating down. So this is half a period. So half a period. Will equal. 2 millisecond. 
two milliseconds. So if I do cross multiplication, the period will be four millisecond. Four millisecond. Now the time from here till here, this distance is one millisecond. So if I use this formula, I will have change in pace divided by two pi will equal delta t, which is one millisecond divided by four milliseconds. Cross multiplication, so the change in pace will be two pi divided by four will equal five over two. Okay. Next now. Estimate the amplitude of the resultant wave. The amplitude of the resultant wave. The amplitude is the maximum displacement. Maximum displacement. Which is here the graph before I explain it. Always when he when he asks you about the amplitude, go to two points where the two waves meet. So the two waves meet here. So I have two displacement. The first displacement from the first wave, this is we call it Y1, and the second displacement from the second wave, Y2. So two displacement will have. Y1 is four micrometer, and Y2 is four. Four plus four, is eight, eight millimeter. So I need the total of the amplitude is Y1 plus Y2, and this will equal four plus four will give us eight micrometer. I'm gonna ask you something else. If if the question find the resultant wave, this is using the composition principle at point. Suppose this point, point A. OK, what is the resultant displacement? What is the resultant displacement? So the first wave, it has a displacement of, this is Y1, 4 micrometer, and this one here, it's down, it's negative 4, Y2. So at point A, at point A, y1 plus y2 4 minus 4 it will give us 0 at this point if the question give you another point and ask you about the resultant displacement now same question now we'll go to standing wave standing waves here we have a standing wave is established in a tube that is closed at one end and open at the other end. If you notice here, this is third harmonic. You remember uh, the first harmonic, always when you have a close at one end, you will have a node. Open end will have a tie node. So here node, here a tie node. This is the first harmonic and length here is lambda over four. So if you do cross multiplication, lambda, will be 4L divided by N. N will go from 1, 3, uh, 5, etc. So this one here is the third harmonic. Here we have node. We will oscillate down and then like that. Here on tie node. Now the question is calculate the length of the tube. Calculate the length of the tube. So here we have lambda will equal 4L divided by 3. I need L. Cross multiplication. So 3 lambda will equal 4L. Divide both sides by 4. So L will be 3 lambda divided by 4. 
lambda in the question, the wavelength in the question is 1.2. This is the wavelength. So it will be 3 times 1.2 divided by 4 to give us 0 0.9 meter. 0 0.9 meter. Okay. Oh, uh, that's it. See you inshallah in the second video. Second video will be about high level and it will be about thin film and it's also uh, you had it in the final exam this year.